Father, visit everyone today for perfection of their testimony. You are God with us. You reveal yourself in us. God is here. God is here. Voice alone, Emmanuel. Sweet Holy Spirit is here. Healing has started already. Thank you, Jesus. 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 For the last minute miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Ah! Thank you, Jesus. For the eleventh hour miracle. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Blessed be unto your name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. We are in the sanctuary, not in the mortuary. You count us worthy this morning among the living. 
not because of our righteousness just because of your mercy father we thank you we return the glory back to your name in these few minutes we have in your presence let lives be changed let lives be delivered let healing take place and let people carry their testimonies father we thank you breathe over your word this morning and let it come as simple as possible to us for the entrance of your word give a light and understanding to the simple holy spirit take absolute control and at the end of everything when we leave service today let us go and enjoy everything you have ordained for us and the people of God shout a believing amen. amen. Clap those hands together for the King of glory. Are we happy to be in the presence of the Lord this morning? I just got my miracle. Hallelujah. I don't know about yours, but I just got my miracle. There is someone here. Your own miracle will not escape you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to help me appreciate God's servant. Is that how much you can appreciate God's servant? My husband, my mentor, my father. Hallelujah. He was my father before he became my husband. Hallelujah. My prophet. Hallelujah. I love and celebrate you. Thank you for training me in the right way. Hallelujah. As a daughter, I got all I needed to get. And now he keeps saying it that in fact, it's like she got more. Hallelujah, because her voice is louder. I decree and declare, all the destiny helpers that need to do you good in life, you will locate them this week in the name of Jesus. He was my own destiny helper in school. And look at how I'm fulfilling purpose today. I decree, you will not meet with destiny eaters. You will meet with destiny helpers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I want to appreciate God's servant, Pastor Femi Daniels, my business partner. Hallelujah. May God bless you. We love and celebrate you. Pastor Benga, there is no problem. You have gone again. I decree. You will come and meet us all where. <laughs> you have gone for honeymoon. That honeymoon will produce results in a miraculous way. In the name of Jesus. We love and celebrate you. And please jump those hands together for yourself. You are God's royal diadem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a testimony to people. The person seated next to you, who knows, you, are, you may be the destiny helper. So celebrate yourself this morning. And be comfortably seated. Hallelujah. We are going to have a nice time in the presence of God this December 24th, the eve of Christmas. They package those gifts for Jesus. And God has packaged yours today. It will not escape you. You will not use your hand to snatch out your miracle. You will not use your hands to chase your miracle away. You will not use your hand to say... I don't deserve this miracle. You will not use your hand to reject your own answer. Amen. Say, Father, my head will not reject prayers. In Jesus' name. This month has been declared as our month of what? Eh? Commanding what? Eh? This month has been declared as what? Eh? Come on, victory care. Tell your neighbor, don't play church. You see, my life, if I tell you some of the miracles I get every day, some of you would think that maybe God just faced me alone. I'm telling you. I don't come to church the way people come to church. Oh. <laughs> this month has been declared as our month of what? Good. And that means some people have not been 
standing on that declaration. Please tell me how your miracle will come. Jesus. Say, Father, I repent today. Ah, my own declaration that will do me good will not escape me. Wondrous things by praise. My topic this morning is very simple. The wonders of praise for perfection. The wonders of praise for perfection. I am not here to talk about a new miracle. I am going to be talking about a miracle that has started but it has not been completed. So that God will perfect it today. You will see it with your eyes like this. The wonders of praise for perfection. Quickly, Exodus 15, 11. We are going to be doing the read, reading together. Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Can we go together? Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises? Doing what? Doing what? Add to that scripture. Doing wonders in my life. So we'll read it again. Say, who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders in my life? Hallelujah. Doing wonders in my life. Tell your neighbor, the God I serve. God I serve. The God I serve. Do it wonders in my life. Not those abracadabra God. He's the God that does wonders. He's the God that does wonders. Quickly, what is wonder? What does it mean? Wonder simply means miraculous occurrence or miraculous experience. What makes you do wow? That is the God that we serve. Wonders means miraculous occurrence or miraculous experience. Something that will just make you wake up and you'll be like, wow! Like the way God shook me when I heard that I was carrying twins. I did not even know that one was hiding. So when I got to know, oh, there's another baby. It was a wondrous thing. I wondered. I exclaimed, wow. And that was the girl. She was hiding for months. Nobody saw her. That is why sometimes some miracles are hidden for you. For a day of manifestation like this. I decree that testimony that has become begun and has not been perfected or manifested it will show up today in the name of Jesus you are long overdue there is someone here you are long overdue for your miracle I decree and I declare that long awaited miracle will manifest in the name of Jesus please sit down what is praise Praise simply means celebrating God in songs and dance for who he is. Praise simply means celebrating God in songs and dance for who he is. Don't forget that this, the topic today is the wonders of praise for perfection. So what is perfection? Perfection. It simply means, or it implies, like I put it, a state of being faultless, flawless, and without defect. Perfection means a state, or it implies, a state of being faultless, flawless, and without defect. Not a patch of blessing. Not an abject blessing. It's a perfected testimony. Perfection means 
a state of being faultless. That testimony does not have scratch. Flawless. It sparkles. And without defect, not half baked. I decree your own testimony will be perfected this morning. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 50, verse 2, quickly. Psalm 50, verse 2. I need someone that is fast on the console. Psalm 50, verse 2. Let us read together. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty. God, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Out in that Zion, you know, in Psalm 102, verse 13, says, I shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. In that Zion, you are going to put your name. Let us go together. Out of Busola, the perfection of beauty. God has shined. Somebody should stand up this morning. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. My perfection of my testimony Father. shall shine forth for the world to see today. Prayer in one minute. The perfection of my testimony has come today. Ikariba Sakata. Concentrate on the scripture. Karikata Psalm 50 verse 2. Manderikatosa. They will see the perfection of my testimony. Out of Busala, the perfection of beauty. God will shine. God will shine through me today. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus, much less name we have prayer. Please take your seat. Hallelujah. Out of Margaret. There shall be perfection of beauty. There shall be perfection of testimony. You have round that mountain long enough. You have stayed in the valley long enough. Today, God will bring you out in the name of Jesus. Psalm 22 verse 3. Psalm 22 verse 3. The wonders of praise for perfection. Let us go. Psalm 22. But thou art holy. All thou that inhabitants the praise of Busola. You are going to change your attitude towards praise today. What did I say is perfection? It implies a state of being faultless, flawless, and without defect. That is the kind of testimony God is giving you today. Can I hear a believing amen? amen? What is praise for perfection? No, I am going to read it. That's perfection. I'm now saying, what is praise for perfection? It is celebrating God for who he is in songs and dance in order to commit him to do things extremely well for completion and perfection for me. I will go again. So then, what then is praise for perfection? It simply means celebrating God for who he is in songs and dance to commit him to do things extremely well for completion and perfection for me. Today, via your praise, God will attend to that case in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a believing amen? Isaiah 3 verse 10 says, Say ye unto the righteous, it shall be well with you. There is someone here. I decree, henceforth, it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. God will do wonders in my life today. I am talking about myself. God will do wonders in my life today. Mystery of praise. Quickly, the mystery of praise. Listen carefully. Praise looks simple, but can turn your story around in a minute. In fact, in a second. Praise looks so simple. In fact, you've not noticed in church. Some people, when they are praising God, they are looking at someone else. Because it looks so simple, because you are just dancing to the tune of the rhythm. Hallelujah. Not knowing that some people, even next to you, they are collecting their blessing. It looks so simple. That's the mystery. But that simplicity can turn your story around. Praise pleases God. Psalm 147 verse 1. Quickly. Praise pleases God. That is why, I don't know why, God loves me so much. 
Especially when I'm dancing, sometimes I just look at him and he looks at me and he tells me, yes, you deserve another miracle. You must get to that level with God. Let us go. Praise ye the Lord. For it is good to sing praises unto our God. For it is pleasant and praise is comely. It pleases God. He's interested in your praise because he can't do it on his own. So why is it that when there is praise session, you are looking at someone's hair. You are looking at the shape. You are looking at the shoe. And some people are collecting their miracle. It's as simple as that. But in it lies the mystery of greatness. When you pray, he sends his angel. But when you praise, he comes down himself. That is why my relationship with God is so different from others. So many people think until they climb several mountains. That is when they can get the attention of God. In this place, just one minute, your story can turn around. Have you read the scripture very well? God ministered to me yesterday. Have you noticed that throughout the journey of Jesus, he did not use energy to cast any evil out. Everything was based on the scripture and it is written, especially when he came in contact with the devil. That is as simple as praise. Because we feel that is a religious activity. During praise and worship, we we'll praise God for 10 minutes. Then we'll go to testimony. You have simplified the power of God in your life. As simple, that's the mystery. As praise is, it can turn your story around in a split of second. Praise commits God to fulfill his promise. Do you know that in heaven, there is no prayer? You are going to be praising God 24-7. There is no time self. There is nothing like 24-7. It is for lifetime. Eternal. So when they are praising God, why don't you get in tune and in line with it for your miracle? You've not seen the way I praise God. God's servant has told you before that because sometimes it will work from night till 2, 3 a.m. Once it's 5, 6, me, I turn on my music. <laughs> I'm disturbing him. But that thing is giving me my blessing. Hello? Hello? Naked in the room, I will be dancing. He will say, Kai, Alero, you have started. I say, Yes, so. Yes, so. Because it's that praise that is doing wonders in my life. I don't even really dance in church. Come and see me at home when I'm dancing. And when my daughter will come, she too, she will just dance like this. Praise looks simple. But let us put it, it is even superior sometimes to prayer. When you have prayed about a thing, drop that prayer, switch to praise. And that's what we are going to do today. Switch to praise. And watch what, what, God, what God will do. Quickly, Luke 11 verse 2. Even the prayer, some people always think that you must for 10 hours. Some people sometimes, they will even come on the altar. You, I don't know how people do it. Oh. They will just come on the altar. They will preach and go. I can never. If I don't worship, I will praise. My life is not complete. My message is not complete without it. Even the prayer. Some people exalt like that. Let us read Luke 11, 2 together. You will see praise there. Let's go. And he said unto them, When ye pray, who was talking? Who was talking? Let's go. When you pray, say, Our Father, who art in heaven, uh -huh. hallowed. What is that? What is that? Hallowed be thy name. Before prayer point, then thy kingdom come, please God. Then thy will be done in my life. He first of all prays. Mark 6, verse 9. Quickly, you will see the mystery in praising. Let us go. Matthew 6 verse 9. Are we there? Okay. G 
good. After this manner, therefore pray ye. Say, what is it? Our Father, which art in heaven. What is it? Hallowed be your name. Have you seen the potent mystery in praise? Before the prayers. Even in prayer, there is praise. <laughs> I decree. As you pray for the perfection of that testimony today, God will attend to your case in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Let us look at Luke. Tell your neighbor, look at Luke today. Say to another person, look at Luke. Let us consider Luke 17 quickly. As I'll be rounding up soon. Luke 17, 12 to 19. Let us look at Luke together. Interesting story together. Let us go. And as he entered into a certain village, please read very well with understanding. They met him ten men that were lepers. And do you know that in the life of lepers, they are not permitted to be among the congregation. Leprosy is a disease. I decree. Whatever disease, whatever shame and mockery that has made you to leave the congregation or your friends, that has made you to bury your head in shame, that has made you to stay in your room and lock yourself, that spirit of leprosy, it is hereby cast out in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Let us read. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood, mm -hmm, let's go together, afar off. And they lifted up their voice and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Let us go. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go and show yourself unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Listen. He told them to go to the priest. And as they were going, they were cleansed. Meaning that they got their miracle instantly. Okay, let's go. And one of them, when he saw that he was ill, turned back. Glorified God. One of them that were healed. After the healing, because there is something about church these days. After you get your testimony, you go to your house and relax. But out of many people that God gave that testimony, one of them came back to Jesus and glorified God. Let us go. 16. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. It was what? A Samaritan mean he was not even a Jew. He was a total stranger. Some of you have gotten used to church. Some of you have gotten used to pastor. Some of you have gotten used to religious activities that you feel that, yes, I am the family. It's a lie. It doesn't work that way. Someone can come into this church today and pack all the miracles. I decree your own miracle will not escape you in the name of Jesus. Let us go and fell down. Okay. And Jesus answered, he said, were there not ten cleans? Meaning Jesus keep record though. Hello? You know sometimes when I come up for prayer, I will say, mark the register in the presence of God. Jesus, God himself keep record of thanksgiving, of testimony. That is why I pity a lot of people that hide their testimonies. I can't be coming up every Sunday because every day I have many testimonies. So I share with my husband. Don't hide your miracle. God keeps record of whosoever come back to give thanks. Let us go. And Jesus as we said, were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Eighteen. They are not found that return to give. Meaning he did not see anybody except save me except this stranger, this outcast. The one that people have given up on. Good. 19. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith. Meaning, that was the time his testimony was perfected. Have you noticed that even when God heals leprosy, some people still have mutilation, meaning scars. You've not noticed. 
When some lepros, um, lepers are being healed, some of their ears will still be like this. They are healed though. Some eyes will still go like this. You've not noticed. Some people are healed from miracles. But there will be scars. Those were the night people. They were cleansed. But that particular one, Jesus said what? Arise. Verse 19. Let us go. Go thy way. For thy faith. That faith was the mystery of praise. Was the meaning of thanksgiving. After the first session of his cleansing. He saw that he needed to glorify God. And I wrote something. <laughs> what? <laughs> whosoever offered praise glorified God. And in that glorification lies your miracle. Psalm 50 verse 23. Whosoever offered praise glorified God. And in that glorification lies your miracle. Let us read it together. Whoso offered praise glorified me, God. Psalm 50, verse 23. And to him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. Whosoever offered praise glorified God. In fact, let us come down to our level. Can you be singing praise to me and my body will not move towards you? That, ah, uh, ah, uh, who is this person praising me? How much more God? And what a man can give you is limited. I can get frustrated tomorrow when you keep disturbing me. But God is a God that never sleeps no slumber. Whosoever offered praise, glorified God. And in that scripture, Luke 17 verse 13, they cried, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Can you see it? Have mercy on us. What you don't cry for, God will not give attention. What you don't cry for, God will not give attention. Don't pamper that evil. Don't pamper that stranger. Say, Father, I rebuke it. And they said, Father, Jesus, have mercy. <laughs> the leper was a stranger a Samaritan not a Jew don't get familiar with church that you forget that it's a place of recovery it's a place of deliverance it's a place to carry your miracle appreciate God for the things you are seeing today don't forget, those, the title is The Wonders of Praise for Perfection. I am not talking about a new miracle. You will see it yourself, live and direct today. And the stranger turned back to thank God. Luke 17, verse 17. Always return back to thank God, even when you feel it has not been completed. Did you notice that he said, go and show yourself to the Jew? Go and show yourself to them. But one person turned back. Until you turn, is never your turn. Luke 17, 18. Always thank God for the process. Even when the miracle has not fully manifest. That you applied for that job. And they've not called you. Thank God for application. Some people cannot write application. We are only going to be praising God for one thing. We are targeting one thing this morning. And we'll close. Thank God for the first process that somebody even toasted you, even though it didn't lead to marriage. Some people are so beautiful. Nobody said, eh, sister, how now? Alpha. That somebody even said, hello. And after that time, in block your number. Thank God. God is a God that can perfect all that concerns you. Psalm 138 verse 8. Let us go. Psalm 138 verse 8. 
Psalm 138 verse 8, let us go. The Lord will perfect that which concerned me. Thy mercy, O oh Lord, endure forever. Forsake not the work of their own hands. God was the one that created me. So even when I applied and they've not called me for that job, I am going to thank him. Because by the time I thank him, as that one leper, I, my testimony will be perfected. Don't forget it was when he turned back and thanked God that Jesus now said, go thy way, you have been cleansed. So those other people, those other lepers were cleansed, but they were still scars. And don't forget that I said perfection is something without what? Defect. It's flawless. I don't need a testimony that will come today and fly away tomorrow. I need a perfected testimony. And that's why I waited for nine years to get triplets. Process. That's the first mystery. It's so simple. But in it, lies greatness that can turn your story around. Why am I praising God? Quickly. As we round off. Why am I praising God? I am praising God because he is good. And why is he good? That's Psalm 138 verse 8. Promised Adeton that he will perfect. He promised Margaret that he will perfect. And that is why God is good. So if anybody asks you after today, nothing is showing in your life. But no, nothing, no, they cannot even say it again because we are going to do one prayer. <laughs> we are going to do one deliverance praise. I decree the last mockery you got shall be the last mockery in your life. In the name of Jesus. Please sit down. So they cannot even ask you a question again. Because it's what God has started, we are going to praise our God. It's one time praise for perfection. So why am I praising God? I am praising God because he's good. Philippians 1 verse 6. Let us go there. Philippians 1 verse 6. Why am I praising God? Let us go. It's because I'm being confident. Let us go and read together. Of this very thing. That he which has begun a good work in me. Will perform it. Just rise up on you, so of your rise up on your feet. Say, Father, as I praise my way today, that one testimony shall be perfected in the name of Jesus. Prayer in 30 seconds. As I praise my way to, through today, over that one thing, God will perfect it. Enough is enough of mockery in my life. Manda ya laba kopra ka shapra katosia. Nereke ta sia kataba. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we are praying. I can see that lady. Your miracle will not be denied of you. In the name of Jesus. Please run to the altar very fast. You this lady. Come to the altar. I decree and declare. Every mark of stig stigma meditation that is upon your life. They have dropped before you enter this service in the name of Jesus. And from now on I decree, your joy shall be full in the name of Jesus. It is done. Please dance to your feet, seats. Dance. 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 Please sit down. Hallelujah. Why am I praising God? Secondly, I am praising God because of his word. Psalm 56 verse 4. They used to ask you, why are you even praising God when nothing is showing? Let me tell you. Psalm 56, verse 4. Let us go. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Why are you praising God? I am praising God because of his word. Psalm 56, verse 10. Psalm 56 verse 10. Let us go. Let's go. In God, we I praise his word. In the Lord, we I praise his word. So if you don't have any reason, but you know that cannot even happen again after this praise. 
when you used to have that situation that people will say, why are you praising God then? You should have told them, I was praising God because of his word. And I will fear not what man can do unto me. But that cannot be your story again because this targeted praise we are doing today marks the end of mockery in your life. Yeah. Can I hear you believe in amen? Yeah. This one-time praise you are doing today marks the end of shame in your life. You have surrounded that mountain long enough. It is time to move forward. The second mystery of praise. The first one says, praise looks so simple, but in heat lies your turnaround. Number two, praise looks so cheap, yet it is one of the mystery that can buy what money cannot buy. Praise. Looks so cheap, but it's one of the fastest mystery that can buy what money cannot buy. Can you buy a child? There was nothing they didn't do to me. They sliced my body. They did all manner of things, yet I got married to my husband as a virgin. It got to a point I was asking God lots of questions. And it got to a point I almost buried my head in shame. And Loretta, my prayer partner, said, No! Rise up! God is about to do something. And without money, God gave me triplets. I decree. Everything that has been an object of ridicule in your life. That has been a leprous spirit. That has made you look like a leper in front of your friends. That has made people say nothing good can come out of you. Via this place today, God will bring you out of shame. In the name of Jesus. God slapped my enemies three times. Bah, 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 bah. For the nine years I waited, God gave me a child for three years. God gave me another baby for three years. God gave me another baby for three years. I decree, God will surprise you today. Please sit down as we get set for the praise. Praise looks so cheap. Well, it's one of the greatest and fastest mysteries that can buy what money cannot buy. You need a job today. This Sunday, you will get it. Mark my words. You need a job this Sunday. This Sunday, you will get it. You will record it in your diary that the eve of Christmas, God smiled on me. As we praise God now, get your paper. Just one paper, quickly. Target a miracle you want. Please let me explain the instruction as we go into the session of praise. I beg you, don't write a new miracle you are expecting. Something that you have believed God for. And it looked as if it stopped halfway. One. Please, don't write a fresh miracle. Every day is a miracle. So let's leave that one. We are doing wonders of praise for perfection of that thing. Because you will share your testimony. Target. Maybe they called you for a contract January. March, they said you should submit BOQ. That's the bill of quantity. June, they said they have given you letter of engagement. Come and start work. August, all of a sudden, she can now, they no call again. Write it down. You got pregnant. April. June, you went for test. They said no baby again. Write it down. You go see that baby come back. Somebody proposed to you. All of a sudden, blocks you. Write it down. You will even get a better man than that person. You applied for visa. They refused you. Write it down. Write it down. I've heard a testimony of a young man before that they refused. In fact, why am I even going far? They yo. Deyo was one of my daughter before she traveled to UK. They refused. They even held her passport for six months. They said she's going nowhere. After six months, they gave her passport and gave her UK visa. After six months, something she has abandoned self. Write it down. You are believing God for your shop to be filled with goods. 
Your shop, they empty. Write it down. A trailer will come and deliver goods to your shop. I know that somebody did not hear that prayer. A trailer load of goods will be delivered to your shop. And they will tell you, madam, no pay. Don't pay for it. So shall it be for that person. The name of Jesus. Is it healing? Target that healing in that. Please don't write two prayer points. Every day in peace house is a miracle. So any miracle you need, you can come back tomorrow. Target a miracle that has been pending for perfection. And the man turned. Let's go back to Luke 17 verse 17. Turn back and glorified God. That's what we are doing to that prayer. And God himself, Jesus said, arise, go, for you have cleansed. You have been cleansed. That's 19. Yes. No, 18 and 19 now. And God, Jesus said, go. Their faith has made you whole. Because he turned back and glorified God. Is it for the church? Because a lot of people are watching us online. Pray for your church for multiplication. Yes. Pray. People always ask us, how do we do it? How do we do it in peace house? We are just God. We are just people that God has helped. We don't know how to do it. Thank God for the souls. God will be adding to peace house. Target one prayer. Then before we rise up, let us go to the last scripture. Psalm 47 verse 7. So that you will understand what you are about to do. Psalm 47 verse 7. Make you not go right to prayer request you. One. That has been in process. Because it's the wonders of God for perfection. You will see it koro koro with your eyes. Our own God is not abracadabra. It is a God that doeth wonders. Let's go. Psalm 47. Everybody please face the scripture. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing ye praises with what? With what? Dance in front of God with what? Raise your prayer request with what? Deliver God for testimony with what? Rise up on your feet. Shout glory to God. Father, lift up your prayer request. This December 24th, the eve of Christmas, I have brought forth my miracle. I have brought forth my request. As I turn to give you praise with understanding, Lord, perfect it this very Sunday. Perfect it. Praise looks so cheap, yet it's going to buy what money cannot buy for me today. Praise looks so simple, yet it will turn things around for my good today. Target that prayer, one time prayer. Focus on your miracle already. Father, I thank you. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Gentlemen, oh, for you, no, Vesigima, Gentlemen, oh, for you, 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 for Please, don't come back next year again and pray the same prayer. So when you are dancing, dance as if you are the only one in church. Tamuno, gentlemen, 
Φορία, 